hey lovies welcome back to another video and on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to smoke your catfish and tilapia fish in your oven to get that smoky effect and to come out very very dry so if you're interested stay tuned let me take you through the process of smoking your fish right in your house so guys to start i'll start by cleaning my tilapia fish of which i'll go ahead and use my kitchen scissors to take off all the parts of the fish i don't like and i'll go ahead and wash this thoroughly with some water and salt So if this is your first time clicking on my video, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Lydia Isaac. I hope you do find this recipe helpful. And to my other returning subscribers, thank you very much. I see you. I see your love and support. Thank you for always coming back. So I've gone ahead to thoroughly wash the fish and taking off the guts from the fish. Right now, I'll add in some salt and run my tap water to keep on washing the fish until it comes out clean. So when I'm done washing the fish, I will just go ahead and put this in the strainer to strain off all the water from the fish. And right now, I will start washing my catfish, which I'll go ahead and also use my scissors to take off all those long um, stuff from the catfish head. So guys, you want to make sure you thoroughly wash your catfish and to do this, you need some limes or vinegar to wash your fish. So I'll go ahead right now, excuse some lime juice and add in lots of salt to it. And I will use the lime to scrub on the fish to take off all the sliminess from the fish. So you can see what I'm doing right in the here. You want to make sure that you wash your catfish very, very clean. So after scrubbing the fish with the lime and salt, I'll go ahead and run my um, hot water or the catfish and add in more salt again and wash the fish until it comes out clean and when I'm done with this process I will also put it in my kitchen sieve to sieve off all the water so right now I'm going to be prepping my oven rack I'll go ahead and place some foil paper on the tray which I'm going to be putting underneath of the rack that I'm putting the fish so guys you want to make sure that you spray your kitchen rack with some oil make sure you don't forget as it will be very very difficult for your fish to come out so i forgot to spray in some oil into my rack and at the end of the day you're going to be seeing what is going to happen with my fish so make sure you don't make that mistake though i had my oil close to me but i don't know i just forgot at the end of the day so after cutting my tilapia fish i went ahead and add in some salt to taste so right now i'm going to be prepping the smoky base for the fish which i will add in like a tablespoon of smoked paprika this is optional but i'm also going to be adding in two tablespoons of no smoked liquid so you need your smoked liquid to um brush on your fish to get that smoky flavor and I also went ahead to add about a teaspoon of salt. So I'll mix this up together and set it aside. So to fold our catfish to get that African style smoked catfish, we need our skewer, which I'll go ahead and cut the skewer because it's too long. So as we all know, our catfish head is very, 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 very strong. So to get the skewer to go through, you need to pierce some hole into the head of the catfish, which I'm using my knife to pierce the hole into the head and the tail of the catfish. So you want to make sure that your knife comes out from 
the other side of the catfish and right now I'll go ahead and put in the tail of the fish into the mouth and I'll pierce my skewer into the place that I already used my knife to put a hole and I'll use my kitchen scissors to cut the skewer into a shorter size so you can see what I did right here of which I'm going to be doing it again so you can see that So you have to be very very careful while piercing your hole on the catfish head as i said earlier it is very very strong so to put the tail into the catfish mouth you need your spoon to open the mouth and after opening the mouth go ahead and put the tail you can see how it is this is not easy but i tell you you can do it after the first one the second one is just going to be easy for you so just go ahead put the tail inside and use your skewer to hold this together so guys thank you very much for clicking on this video i hope you do find it helpful and if you do please don't forget to click on that like button and if you've not yet subscribed to this channel please do go ahead and click on that red subscribe button click on the bell icon that goes with it so you will never miss any recipe from this channel check out my facebook page at lydia isaac recipes and follow me on my page so you will also get some recipes and quick fix on my facebook page so right now I'll go ahead and brush in my mixed pap smoked paprika and smoked flavor into the tilapia fish and put this in my oval rack. As I said earlier, please don't forget to spray your oven rack before putting in your fish so it won't stick to the rack. And I will also go ahead and brush that into the catfish. So while doing this, I'm already preheating my oven on 200 degrees for 10 minutes before placing in my fish. So I will place the fish into the oval rack and I will transfer it into the oval at this moment and I'm going to be ba uh, baking this for one hour. So you can see I put in the tray with the foil paper at the bottom so the fish can drip the liquid into it and not stain the oval so this was one hour later i tried to flip it to the other side so i can bake the other side for one hour but it was very very stick due to me forgetting to spray my oval rack so you're going to see what i'm going to be doing at this moment in case maybe you also fall a victim and forgot to spray yours while while smoking your fish so i'll just go ahead now and turn it upside down and put that in the oval and allow it to bake for another one hour so all together that was two hours and i left it till the next day and smoked it again for another one hour the next day and this was what my fish looked like after baking for three hours two hours for the first day and one hour the next day my fish came out very very dry and smoky so don't ask me what happened to the other part of the fish because i don't know what happened to it <laughs> so guys till i see you on my next recipe
do have a lovely day do have a beautiful day bye bye